Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over the lightning magic artifact. So there are three ways to obtain this to my knowledge. Way one is to go to world one onto the highest mountain in the heights. If a thunderstorm comes rolling through on the first day of spring, it will spawn in there. Way two is it might spawn on top of the golden temple on the first day of spring in world two. And the easiest way to obtain it is to farm the lightning god's boss who spawns in the golden temple area on the first day of spring at seven o'clock. And this is on the floating island between the Rotten Night Spawn and the Hawkeye Coliseum. Now, there are a couple of items that do make this artifact better. Item one is to take a drum cape. This cape increases all of the damage attacks from Lightning Artifact by 50%, which is a pretty big deal. And plus, to take a drums drops from the Lightning God, who also drops the artifact itself, so you may get it while farming for it. And also, the Lightning Rod does more damage if you have the Lightning Artifact Learn. And the Lightning Rod's M1 combo with the Lightning Artifact um, Learn does do a lot of damage. If you don't have Euro or Cosmic Katana, I'd recommend going for this. So Lightning also has a pretty average dash. This is what it is. You can use it to fly up in the air, but it isn't the best. There's definitely better options out there. Anyways, let's get into the magic attacks now. So the first move you get is at level one, and this one is known as Chidori. So this move, what it does is you charge your fist with lightning, and then if you walk into any enemies, you will deal light damage to them. This move is really, really bad, and I don't really recommend using it with his magic type. The next move you get at level 14, and this one is known as Lightning Stream. So what you do is basically a bunch of lightning goes on the ground around you, and if you're near any enemies, a lightning bolt will come down and strike them and stun them for a second and it deals pretty decent-ish damage. I'm not gonna say this move is very good, but I'm also gonna say this move isn't the worst. It's pretty okay at best. So the next move you unlock is at level 32, and this one is known as Lightning Blast, and Lightning Blast is a pretty average move. Basically what you do is you fire out a bunch of lightning bolts like your Emperor Palpatine himself and you deal moderate damage. Its cooldown isn't very long, so it is pretty spammable and its damage is alright, but overall there are better moves out there, but by no means is it a bad move. So at level 46, you unlock Lightning Strike, and Lightning Strike is probably the best move from the set besides its specs. Lightning Strike does a very good amount of damage, especially if you hit the Taiko Drums, and then it also stuns an enemy in place where you hit them. So it is a very useful move to use because you can stun the enemies while still doing very good damage. So very, very great move in the Lightning Magic set. So now we're moving on to the specs. At level 76, you unlock the Thunderclap spec. And this spec looks absolutely amazing, but its damage is all right for its super long, like 30 second cooldown. It's a uh, mana cost isn't the worst and its damage is okay. Like it does do a lot of damage, but for spec, I would say it's okay. So there are definitely better specs out there, but hey, this one does look amazing. And if you want to use it, definitely go for it. The last attack of the lightning magic is known as Thunderball. And you get this at level 137 and you need the lightning rod in order to use it. Thunderball is one of the best damaging specs in the entire game. Its only downside is it costs a dumb amount of mana, but it makes sense because it does a dumb amount of damage. So basically what you do is you start charging this massive Thunderball attack and then you let go and it goes wherever your mouse is, explodes, and it deals massive damage. I think it does like 2.7k, somewhere in that range. And basically, you can somewhat spam it because the cooldown is 7 seconds. Anyways guys, that is the Lightning Magic Artifact. It is a very, very good artifact if you guys have not tried it out before. So I definitely recommend everybody gives it a shot. Anyways, thank you very much for watching my video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!